The follow-up is simple. Ask a question, listen to the answer, then follow up. I'm your host, Noah Kozlov. Enjoy. Hi, and thanks for watching another episode of The Follow-Up Podcast. I'm Eden, and this is my dad, Noah. And every week we have a new conversation. That's something I want to talk about. You can watch on VolcoNow.com, or you can listen on Apple Podcasts. And today we're talking about the real going back to school. The real going back to school plan? The real. As opposed to the... Fake going back to school plan yeah, that we got a few weeks ago? Yeah, we said we were going to go back, but then on, we said that on Thursday, but on Friday, it's like, get your remote for next week. It was like in basketball when a shooter goes up like this, and he doesn't shoot, he, did, like, he pump fakes, yeah. and then the defender jumps and like fouls him or gets faked out. That's what like I felt like happened in school. I felt like we got pump faked. They told you in school about two weeks ago, right. and we got an email saying... We're going back to school, and then less than 24 hours... Later? No. Yeah. So, talk, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you talk about, like, the feeling that you guys had in school when... Because you're in five days, home five days, in five days, remote five days. Which the, at least I'm in one full week. Right. So, so the feeling that you all had in the classroom when you were told, hey, we're going to be back in school full time? We were all just really excited. Like jumping up and down, or just like really excited, mm-hmm. and then just like, sorry. Right. So the following day, did they address it with you in school? Meaning, did they tell you, "Hey, we're not going back," or did they leave it up to the parents to tell you that? Leave that to the parents. So they didn't talk about it in school the next day. No, which I thought was pretty weird. That is weird, huh? How did you handle that disappointment? I mean, you seemed okay on the on the outside, but how were you on the inside? fine it's like it's not like it's almost the end of school but i want to be in person still but it's probably not going to be for that long they probably just need more time because i know that they were moving classrooms so they probably just needed more time than just a day maybe yeah i don't know the the real reason i don't reason. know either but i actually emailed some of the local politicians to mm-hmm. find out what happened here like how how can something that big of a decision change? And a few wrote back that they're trying to get to the bottom of it and yeah. trying to determine what happened. But now we know that this it week is, is one of your in-person weeks anyway. And it's the real. And then the following week is the full-time in-person every day. Hopefully. And we have talked about a lot since school. we started this podcast together. Just school. Talking about school. Yeah. So if anyone doesn't remember, last year you were in school full-time, kindergarten until pandemic hit. March. Then out of school completely, and then this year started five days every three weeks, and then it went to five days in, five days remote. So what are you going to miss about being at home with with me? Well, I'll miss about doing, like, all sorts of things, like multiplication, like a nap, Mm -hmm. division, multiplication, division. (laughs) Like kind of having our own, our own schedule on things. Nice. Yeah, because you have when you're at home. Can you, can you describe what your day is like? My day is like I have reading. So it's like this. I'll say the whole schedule. Uh, I'll just kind of describe Mondays because the week's all crazy. <laughs> so on Monday, we start with morning meeting. So that's morning meeting. We talk about what we're doing that day, yeah. But meaning that everybody's on Zoom, Zoom. morning meeting. Right. Yeah, okay. And then we have, that connects to reading. We have a five minute break. Reading's half an hour, so. I would say that's about, let's see. Maybe 50, 45 minutes. Okay. That's almost an hour. Mm-hmm. Then we have read aloud time from 10, 10, 10.35, or usually mm-hmm. from 10 to 35 or 10 10, something like that. And then at 10.35, we have writing. So that's until 11.30. And this is all live on Zoom yes. with, with the other kids in your class. Yep. And then at 12.30, I have a special, so science, gym, music, or something like that. Mm-hmm. Or... If I don't, I have time with dad for like 
half an hour, an hour. Mm-hmm. Or I have something at one, then. Right, or so one thirty. Right, it's so very usually, confusing. So usually in the afternoon we get usually. It's usually we get yeah. it about an hour together, sometimes an hour and a half, depending yeah. on depending on the other schedules. And, and how they have, things are. Right, and they have lessons on the computer. Right. So whether we watch that or, or whether I think that we've all, you've all, you've already done enough of that, we do the we do some assignments and then do some things that mom and I think are important to to know, like how to tell time on a analog clock or I did practice that but if I'm looking at my clock it only has 12, 3, 6, and 9 and it's helpful if you have a lot of numbers yeah I understand yeah but now you, but now that helps with multiplication that does help with multiplication right because anything times 5 is just the clock the clock yeah Which actually you thought of that and I told mom and she had and she that is a very short idea and that she would never think of that we're thinking we're mm-hmm. thinking yeah but like I think it's fun coming up with New strategies. Strategies and word problems and doing phonics by giving you letters for a word and then saying, mm-hmm. unjumble these words. Yeah, that's really fun. Right, so I like you doing the jumble. Mm-hmm. And like seeing what, num- le- what letters go together in vowel combinations since those are the things that you're learning in school. And I still remember the one time I did the jumble and it was the last one and that's always the hardest and it was a gutter. Like a gutter. Oh, wait, that was the one in the, in the newspaper, yeah. And I don't think anybody else had got that one. You got that one first before us? Yes. We should start doing the jumble again at dinner. We were doing that over the summer from the newspaper. I think, yeah, we should start. That was fun. I mm-hmm. like doing that. Yeah, we should start doing that some more. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're going to miss about being at home. Mm-hmm. But being in school is going to be just a lot of fun. Yeah, and you probably think about it like you... Only, like, you have never, you probably, when you were a kid, had, like, thought, what? Like, probably had never heard of that. What, like, would, remote like, school? Silly, like, remote school. Never. I mean, right. even, that we, would didn't, be pretty silly. we didn't even have the the internet when I was in elementary school. Right, but let's say, like, little high. Like junior high or Something high school? Like, right. But, like, yeah. it just seems like. Never even. It, it occurred. Well, well, a, a pandemic never even occurred. occurred in our minds. Right. Never even thought that was a possibility. Right. Yeah. I And again, I've told you before, I just don't think I would have handled it all the way you're handling it. Like with just such maturity and responsibility that we can just leave you on Zoom and you're doing the right thing, have a timer... You're doing the assignments and paying attention, and yeah, I, I just I just don't think I I just don't think I could have sat that still that to, long to that in order to to focus for that long. Like you can't sit still. I mean, I could sit still, but it's like at your age, first grade, I just probably would have been like looking out the window, like, oh, and I know you want to like just get outside too, because after school ends, boom, to the park. And I do look outside sometimes, but I'm like focused. Mm-hmm. Like, like, if Miss Arca says, like, it's, like, not the nicest morning hour. Yeah, and take a look outside. Yeah. All right, so is there something, I know we talked about, like, what you're looking forward to being in person. Is there something that you're most looking forward to doing in person? In Just to be doing or, like, no, it's not. Like, Whatever. Let's say, maybe, I think the most exciting thing is having six new kids in our class from cohort D. They all remote kids. Oh, right, so some new faces. That's cool. Do you think your table is going to be different? Or are they just going to add... No, they added tables. Okay. They added their tables. I'm so excited for you to be able to have the end of this year be like the beginning of of last last year. year. Or the beginning of basically a new year basically. Right, it's like a New Year's year school, school but at the year, end of the year. year. Yeah. It's like you're having a New Year's school, but it's only going to be two and a half months, and then so you get summer break. No, it's basically like we flip the school around. The last part of the <laughs> school of school is the beginning of school, and the in the beginning of school is the last part of school. I'm excited for you. Yeah. All right, I love you. I love you.